Okay, I want to say hello again YouTube, it's only me, Wushu Richard, and I, I say YouTube, I mean human beings out there on YouTube. Hi everybody, once again. I'm wearing no top because I'm sweating, okay? I don't have the biggest, baddest, tough guy physique, I don't, okay? But um, I'm sweating, I've been actually working out, and I've been doing a special kind of training, okay? Uh, I've been doing VR training, okay? It's virtual reality. VR training. Today uh, I got my my uh, VR headset which I'm very happy with. Today was my first day ever trying uh, VR, virtual reality, and I, I've just been very fascinated from what I've enjoyed okay, um, experiencing uh, today with this. Um, and um, yeah, I just find the whole thing fascinating, you know, um, I've been working on animation a lot recently too, I've got cartoons coming up and stuff, so I want to get creative uh, and see what I maybe can do for this too. But um, if you've got um, a virtual headset out there, I want to say, um, I think there's so much what you can do with, with them, I think it's, it's a really good thing actually. The downsides um, to, to a headset, as I say, if there is a downside, I think of course if you... If it's you know if you're wearing that for a long time, it's not good for your eyes, obviously. So always be aware of that. Don't spend too long using something like this. But also, um, you know, a bit heavy too. Um, some are probably lighter or heavier, depending on which ones you you get or which one you own. But this one is okay. I've got the straps and stuff. But you know, it can be a bit heavy on, on the nose area there and all of that. But yeah, um, I must say I'm very very. Um, fascinated um, so far. I'm very, very pleased with what I've experienced so far. I've been experiencing all kinds of things like the roller coaster ride. Uh, I hate roller coasters by the way, but you know, um, deep sea, this and that, and all kinds of stuff, okay? Mountain climbing, um, uh, walking on a beach, and all kinds of cool stuff, okay? And uh, other scenic spots and things. But um, yeah, um, Using it in a creative way is what I'm all about. Now, there's a lot of games, computer games and stuff out there that people play on this as well. But um, just recently, I'm um, going to cut to the chase, okay? But just recently, um, I saw I saw a video, a couple of like VR martial arts orientated um, videos where people were doing like boxing training and uh, even some karate too and some taekwondo. Um, and as you know, I do a lot of different martial arts, mostly Kung Fu styles. Um, I originally did do karate with my first ever martial art that I studied when I was um, 12, excuse me, when I was 12 years old. I started with karate. Later on, I moved um, and done kickboxing, hard, hard as fuck kickboxing, excuse my name, it was a really hardcore period in my life. And then I went through the Kung Fu, which, which was what I really wanted to do, and I uh, studied different Kung Fu systems, and even continued when I come to China. And here I am now, 34 years old, and I've made so many videos dedicated to martial arts, even though I'm not the most toughest guy and all of that. Now, but let me just say, okay, it's all about the training, and it doesn't matter what build you are as such, and who you are, man, woman, boy, or girl, um, whatever age, anybody can do martial arts to keep healthy and fit. And also the training, the movements, of course, for self-defense and, and the reactions, you know, you want to, you, you can work on, okay? It's better when you train with a real partner, when you can spar with someone, or when you can practice the applications with someone, carefully but realistically. That's what you want to do, Re aim for real training with real people. Uh, doing all kinds of training, the working out, anything to uh, accompany, to, um, help you with that too, with your fitness, anything, running, riding a bike, swimming, if you can swim, I can't swim myself, but I'm just saying, okay, anything, any sports, dancing, whatever you do, it's all good, just taking care of your health in general, you know, don't smoke, don't drink alcohol, if I was you, I don't, you know, don't take drugs, obviously, just lead a peaceful life, try and avoid pressure, it's, it's, there's so much you can do in the, in the realms of training, conditioning, on pads, on heavy bags, training and stuff, and all of that stuff. Stretching and flexibility is very important, as is strength, but it depends on what aspects of training you want to focus on for you and your body. Now, now can technology help us is something that people often say, okay, often ask. In, you know, well, there's a, it's been, in the recent years, there's been a lot more of that. There's been more activity I've seen where people are using things like virtual reality and things like that, and various games and stuff, 
there's been even like things introduced from Nintendo and various companies when they're trying to incorporate sports and fitness in to get people up off their ass, you know, get the, get the imagination going, but like what the reactions and the fitness, so they're active, you know, and that, that's a good thing, you have to admit. But you've got to be careful, you don't want to end up slipping over, punching somebody you love, or breaking a window, or doing something stupid, because you, when you're in the headset, obviously, you only see what's in there, so you've got to make sure you have enough space and you're aware if you are doing this kind of training. But it's another kind of awareness training, it's reminding you to like, if you was in a real fight and you had to defend yourself, you'd be standing up facing, you know, someone there, let's say, but you'd have to be aware of your surroundings, right? You don't want to step back and fall down a staircase or into a, into a road or a fire or something, do you, right? Um, now, what I want to say to you, okay, is, and that, yeah, yeah, um, basically, I've been playing around with this a bit earlier on, doing with one thing which I said I was going to do before I even thought about getting one of these, and that was I'm going to try and use it to do to help me with my martial arts. I've even said to friends of mine, close friends and stuff that who do the martial arts, who are into martial arts, that it will be a good way to help each other to spar and to train reaction training. Now, again, you're not going to get that contact. You're not going to feel or see it as though you're really there. I mean, when you put this on, you can't. Even, I can't even see my hands. But there are like games for things like that as well. I know, but I'm just saying, okay. And, and, and again, but I'm saying if you can train with a real person, and, and you know, if you've got video footage, video footage of somebody in there, you know, you might be like, you know, halfway across the world. But I mean, there's a lot of interactive stuff going on as well, like games and stuff like that, where people can connect in a virtual world too. It's getting better slowly over time. I'm just saying, you know, I believe in the future. Probably, or maybe they already have it. I don't know. It's coming up probably where you can connect online. And you can see the person, you know, just just like um, you would with um, things like. Well, I, I guess it is possible. I mean, if it, uh, I don't know, if you could use something like Skype or something like that in here, where you can actually see someone on a video there, and the other and the, the other person could also wear one, and you know, maybe even group conference calls, whatever. And you could put that on, and then stand and, and practice your moves and fight. So when when one person's attacking, you know, imagining where you are obviously, but you know, then the other person is going to be, you know what I mean, like having to react. So anyway, um, you either have a partner or you don't, and this is things I want to say, so I want to, I want to work towards that, and I think it's, uh, we can use technology like this, the martial arts community and people in general. And, uh, and, uh, I want to say also, um, I want to say also, okay, by the way, that, um, hold on, it was still on. <laughs> I want to say also that, um, what do I want to say, man? <laughs> yeah, uh, I, 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 want, I want to also be making videos, as I say, in future, uh, VR related, virtual reality related, as I even said before. Maybe even another separate channel even for that, I don't know. Uh, as well as putting videos on my main channel, of course. And um, I'm thinking maybe even like martial arts dedicated programs to training where people can follow along with me in, a, let's say, a collection or a series or collection type is a thing where I can do different kind of training. We can work on your blocking, your kicking, uh, your striking. I could put up pads and stuff and you can have to try and strike those pads in, in the headset. Uh, as I say, it's better if you have a headset. It is much better if you have a headset. What I'm going for really with this for this kind of training, I'm saying martial arts, I'm saying I'm not really too bothered about having it full 360, which I love, and that, but I'm saying when you've got your headset on here, like for example, what I did, okay, is like this video camera is set up here now, is what you're looking through, this video camera, through your computer screen, or whatever, is um, the size there, okay, is, is the distance and the height of me, see, so I'm facing and I was imagining that this, you know, this, um, this is another person here. And I'm, I'm, I'm imagining striking there. So what I did is I filmed myself. I filmed about two minutes of footage. I just played some music in the background to time myself. Did a few moves. I kind of exaggerated a bit. It's nothing too um, perfect, you know. And I was kind of like, you know, uh, working different speeds and stuff. Flowing different movements and different martial arts and, and methods. 
And I filmed myself up, okay, and what I did was I tested it out, I've done a second test as well. I'm getting better, I'm working the distance and stuff, trying to work it. But I'm telling you, when you put that headset on, if you set the height up to about a reasonable height, around about as high as you can get it to look like that distance, like there's an opponent there, and you, you know, and once you put that headset on, you know, when, when you film the footage up, you must make sure that it's not too close or too far, is my advice. Because this footage I've filmed up, this footage, is still a little bit too close. In that I thought I was going like a good distance, but what happened was, is when I filmed it up, when I looked at it inside here, it stretches everything out and it's kind of like closer. So, you know, but it's okay. And this one is better. I'm going to improve at that as we go along. And um, as I say, it's a bit hard to train and spar with this on your head. But enough of that. What I'm going to do now, okay, in this video, okay, now I'm going to actually um, spar with myself to the footage which I just filmed up a moment ago, okay, the footage of myself. Uh, it was basically just me in this room, basically. Um, you know, that's basically what it was, uh, me in the room. I guess so it would be better if I was to stand here because uh, to fight with myself, okay. Now, the good thing is, when I look around, it's still rounded and it's very big and it's like you're really there you know it's, it's not like it's not the same as facing the, the, t the computer screen here low on that table and just doing the moves which you can do but it's not the same kind of thing because you can feel your footwork moving in and out and blocking it and you can imagine how you cover up and going for that body shot that head shot walking your trail in your breath and everything and it's like very good training even though you can't feel as such you know and, I, and that's what I was saying to one of my friends recently, I, I was saying also that, you know, um, that I think you can work all kinds of workout, workout methods and exercise with this. I've seen people doing weights and stuff and doing other kind of exercises while wearing this. It's like, I think it's a good thing. It's a good way to focus as well. It's a good, it's some, it, we can use this in many ways, is what I'm saying. It's good for entertainment, but we can also use it if you're in it exercise person or a martial artist, you can probably use it in some way or another. Now obviously I wouldn't advise doing extreme martial arts, you know, aerobic, gymnastics, break dancing and stuff, because you might break your neck or, or at least break this, okay. So, okay, as I say though, uh, right now, okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you're going to find this a little bit entertaining. Uh, I may do a shorter clip of this too. Um, yeah, in the next clip you're going to see, right coming up now, is you're going to see me literally sparring with myself so this is me okay with no top on here because I'm I was sweating earlier on I look like a skinny Mr. Bean I know and it's not too funny it's, it's not it's like you know it would not impress Bruce Lee fair enough but what I'm trying to say, <laughs> or anyone but what I'm trying to say is though in the other video the footage I just filmed a moment ago the other footage the attacker the attacking guy the version of me I was wearing a green t-shirt, in fact this green t-shirt, okay? So I am going to fight with my previous self, and let's face it, I've been speaking for a long time now, time doesn't wait for anyone, neither do the cells in our body as we grow older, so I'm slightly older than that guy, so come on man, I'm going to stand up to my young, dangerous self, <laughs> okay? Thank you very much, check this out, and uh... Okay, after this I will do one more clip too to tell you how I feel, okay? As I say, it's just fun training, okay? See you in the next clip. Oh, I forgot to press the button. <laughs> well, we're going in virtual reality right now. I'm going to fight myself. Are you ready? Okay, let's do this right now. Us. Step in his room, keep my eyes on my opponent, lock in him, I'm trying to work in the opening, see I'm trying to cover, he's kind of close now, I'm punching through his throat, covering up with my hands there, covering against his boxing punches he's throwing and these swing karate attacks, hitting against the body, trying to work him with all the come through that I know, I'm just, it might not look like much, I'm not doing a lot of power, but, you know, the guy's going all over the place, man. Big overhead punches, back fist, spinning back fist. Oh, 
tops in the river, man. Look at the wind trying to kind of move what's coming in there. Shit, where is the gun? Whoa, 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 this motherfucker. I nearly threw the guy back there. Shit. And no time to think, you know, this is like real reaction training, you know. I'm going to see a lot of palms and fists here. Very um, typical of a kung fu, you know. It's like imagine where I could grab the arm too if someone was in that speed. See people saying that kung fu doesn't work and stuff, you know. It's all bullshit, but you know, when you've got someone coming at you with this kind of reaction, that is fair enough, I wasn't doing all out that much. You know, but it was like, definitely the, the reactions are there, you know, I'm trying to watch what's going on. I'm watching with his hands are going in. I'm going to cover up with my arms here, see so boxing. Watching all in, so pull. Watching those heads. My arms to block here, see. Defense is all important. I've got no idea where I am I'm literally in the room as such in terms of real um, turning. I don't know if I'm facing the camera or what. Just watching what I can how to go against this guy. Just working it all in, basically a lot of wing chun hands. Coming a bit too close here. Oh man, he's pummeling at me, man. Kicks coming and everything. Blocking with a kiss on the forearm while he's hitting the ribcage. Bam, bam. Give him some composure. Oh man, give you some on back. Let me give you some on back. Train coming up, doing it all, man. Oh, they're trying to grab me, huh? Not happy, man. Oh, shit. Oh, what do you want in? Strikes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Come on, pussy. Come on, pussy. Oh, I got you by the throat. <sighs> trying to match my speed in there. Trying to meet the arms before they hit me, before they get me now. Oh, shit. Oh. I think when I take this headset off, I'm going to be a big surprise of where the camera actually is. I've got a fair idea. Whoa. And that's it. Bam, I'm one punch in the front and done. Wow, I don't know how I did. Probably, probably look like a retard. Where am I? Oh, there I am. <laughs> kind of got the idea. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go in for one more round. Let's go, man. I'm going to go for one more round on this. Let's go. I'm going to go for one more round, it's a good training man, so yeah I find I was a bit too close in there, I was a bit too close I felt my foot touch something just now, I had no idea it might have been the tripod Good training, we go for round two man, let's go, ready? So when you see, when you see what it is, you know what it is man So, oh yeah Let's go man I've got no music on, you can put your music on and get yourself pumped up I'm going to put music in this video and say, you know Oh man, this time I'm going to go for a different tactic, I'm going to go for like using feet to keep the guy at bay, trying to imagine that the opponent's at bay, this is really really good training, I'm not fucking hurting anybody, but it might look ridiculous but, you know, this is really helping me for a reaction, just this rough first one I've done, just watching where the arms are, the guy's about my height, you know, it's another knee there, bow, salute, my shorts, see I'm covering up there, my hair and my forearms, Elbows, whatever I can cover up with, <laughs> trying to match that there, you know, like you do in boxing and karate, everything, you know, just, just covering him, working my way in with the wing truck, so working wherever I can trap him, see, circle step, block against that kick there, block the block it low, yeah, using it all my knees to go, knee in the groin, ooh, that high kick was dangerous there, just shows if someone wants to hit you that fast with a, a kick, you know, as you can see, I'm not going like full out punching like a maniac, I'm going to this on my head, my head as well, but you know, I'm working on the angle, see? It's the reaction, the cover and that's it. Mmm, you see? He's swinging, he's swinging, just missing me, I'm like, chopping the fuck of the net, I'm watching wherever his neck is, wrapping up. I'm going to try to like mirror whatever's coming, like they tell you in martial arts in general, the glass is coming straight around me, weaving, weaving all around. Oh, he grabbed that hit, man. I'm literally working my ups and downs behind my nose where I could push, obviously I can't feel this opponent because it's like not real If you were real I could feel, I'm picking my nose while I'm doing this people like, if you saw that <laughs> Like in, so I want to feel, it's better when you train with a real person you know It's 
Actually, I still worked on him. I said I was going to do a different tactic. I just kicked something, didn't I? Just the one spare. Go on this so I can't even move. My tactics, I can't even move. I keep my eye, I keep my eye on the opponent. See, one thing you don't want to do is go all out and uh, go jumping around the room and then that punch in the wall and breaking you or something. You know. See that? Oh shit! The guy's literally circling around. I don't know how this is working, but it's like it's a weird effect in here, like when he literally is moving around me. He's just moving around me, there. shit. And I wasn't gonna like, punch him. It's the thing with the opponent sees like coming at me, he's attacking, I'm covering up. He's pummeling me, he's literally pummeling me now. He's trying to move from different angles, they see that was real, now he's getting me like into a car or something. They don't know how they cover that kid. I'll go straight in, that was real. So I'm saying, it's like, oh, I see the fucking boat, that's it. Right from where it's fucking bad. So I'm saying, what? Okay, see. Got me a good shot there, come on. So, mm, mm, mm. Very good training. Might have seen that. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, the reaction. You've got to move your reaction, the positions of your arm and stuff. It guard, you know? The line. Yeah. <laughs> I'm walking with the steps, the imagining with the legs. Good sparring, man. Good yeah. sparring. Well, I thought, I thought you were there. <laughs> You're there. Wow, that was very good training. Okay? That was very, very good training. Really, really good stuff. So I'm going to turn that off there for another day. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Whew, good training. I'm sorry, I need a shower now, actually. <laughs> I need a shower now, but it might not look crazy. I'm just putting my hands up and down. My monkey might look funny, but it's like literally, you know, guys. Literally, the, you know, the fucking, oh. You know what I'm saying? That the... The angling and everything, the, that you have to move your foot, your feet, because it's like he's there at the same height as you and you're having to move him with your knees like as though there's a real person there. Because it's not like they're so rigid doing perfect martial arts on the street. Someone could be coming at you and, you know, fair enough, I wasn't going all out and stuff, you know, you know, either side. It was like, you know, it was like, you could imagine somebody tough, someone on the street just literally coming at you. <laughs> Coming faster, you know, some tough guy. It's like the speed and the angling and everything. It's like how you can maneuver and move out the way and cover and that. So I really do think it's a good thing. You know, I, I, I said I was gonna like keep the guy away who was hurt by his heart. He was coming in close. I was finding myself coming with my knees and stuff there. He was open, coming on the inside a lot of the time. That was due to it partly being the way it was filmed, but. Um, it's really funny because it's kind of close up, as I said, it wasn't the best edit of a video of, on the other footage that I did, but it was like, where I was like bobbing and weaving and sliding and stuff, what you may see on that footage there, what you will see on the footage more, and that basically, because it's not the actual like, screen recording from in here, what you're going to see, what you probably saw was the actual footage that I took, so when, when he's like bobbing and weaving and stuff, it doesn't look that big, but when, when I've got the headset on, it's like the guy just spinning around. I mean, you could see, right? In the footage you was looking at, you see the me there with the t-shirt on, I'm literally just facing in front, I'm facing my opponent here. But when I was fighting on myself just now, because of the way the actual turning and the way it is in the headset, when the footage is, the way it is, it morphs and changes the way that like, he's stepping and moving around. Things seem to turn like he's gone this side and I'm going to walk I'm going to change around and work my guard and my knee there and work all the martial art movements in covering there I need to cover, coming in. Now he goes over this side, he's going to give me a gut shot and cover up here, cover my face, bam, bam, bam. Look, his arm might be coming swinging on the outside, catch that arm. 
near here, where all those movements come in, low kick to the leg there, all the movements coming in, like whatever you can imagine, that's guarding, chop straight in with his kicks out, it's all the martial arts you can imagine, all the movements just start coming into play. So I think it's a very good training, and I think, this is, although this is like the first time playing around with this kind of stuff, I do think there's a lot of, um, uh, we can do with this, this kind of training, it's definitely um, a bit of fun down the game, it's something to do, you know. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very, very much for watching, okay? A bit of sparring with me and my stuff to do, so light movement and coordination sparring. And it's, the next, it's the next best thing, I mean, let's face it, it's the next best thing. You don't, if you don't have a partner to train with, I mean, if you do have something, you film yourself on the camera, you know, share footage with other people and try and do this kind of thing, it's good. It's not, you know, but what I'm trying to say is, you know, um, it's the next best thing to like, I mean, if you had a mirror there and you were training in the mirror, let's say face in the mirror, you know, obviously the mirror is following you. Whatever, whatever you do is, is working in there. It's not actually working of its own accord and you're having to like work and react. So you see what I'm trying to say? But if you film yourself up doing different kinds of training, going faster, slow, whatever, different kind of maneuvers and stuff, you know, Maybe really doing some 362 for different angles, multiple opponents or whatever, you see what I'm saying? It's definitely good training. This kind of stuff is it's good practice, you know. So I'm, I was working everything in there, you see my palms coming in, like the Tai Chi and coming in, or whatever. Hands coming out, and the Tai or whatever's coming in, the, the hands coming in, see? The, the sort of working the angles in, covering there. And you literally feel, because you can't mess around when someone's coming at you that fast, you've got to literally cover them, cover them up and work your way in. Foot there, blah, blah, catch me. You've got to work it in, you know, bam. So it's really about the defense, especially because I was working for the defense there, you know, because I was working it like the guy was attacking me so fast, so I had to like move and cover that and just get the attacks in where I could. That's very realistic in that sense, in that way. But it's like you could have done it a different way, like you, I could have made a slow motion version of that video, I could have slowed that video down. So that when he's moving, I've got more time to see and correct my position, how I'm going, okay, how can I step behind that leg there, push him and sweep him down, things like that. The hands coming here, I've blocked that, you know, I can see the opening of the body and the head, I can literally come in a shot. If I was real, I'd grab the, the arm there, go into a lot, put my knee in front, where we take him into, into a control there, see, so things like that. You know, hold on, oh, you know. But yeah, and the centre line for the wing train, it's all in there. It's, like, it's really fascinating training, telling you where to place yourself, how to move, how to turn, how to be alive on your toes and that, your, your, your foot and knee place to place, your feet, your elbows, your wrists, your hands, forearms, your shoulders, your back, your eyes, and, and also your breath and, and your understanding. Because before you know it, the guy's ducking up, down, left, right, spinning around, you go around here, bam, if you was real, you just throw that back, kick out, you know. It's really good training, I must say, because that was just rough, as I say. But I'm going to like, work on different footage and how to do it better, and also the actual distancing and stuff to make it a bit more really real, like you really there. And as it, because sometimes it stretches out a bit too close, but it's okay. Okay, so you need to work it. But it's, it's really good training now. I, I want to say thank you very much for work watching. Okay, train hard and stay safe. Be careful when you do train. Train hard, but train safe, as I would say. Don't end up breaking a window or breaking your hand or your wrist on the wall or you know, tripping over a table leg or hitting somebody. Be careful, yeah? Try not to stay safe. Thanks for watching. Bye.